वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी सेवन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम लाइक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी सिक्स दैट इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर नाइन स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर इज द बुक नेम स्टेटमेंट इज द ब्रैकेट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू द फोर्स ऑफ थ्री केप्स डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस एंड मैक्सिमम इन प्लेन शेयर स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट बी ऑन द क्रॉस सेक्शन एट सेक्शन ए ए स्पेसिफाई द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस एंड शो द रिजल्ट ऑन द एलिमेंट so you can see this is a bracket and this is a three kips axial or tensile load is applied the at section a a the cross section of this is shown that is i beam and you have to find the principal stresses at point b and maximum in plane shear stress and you have to specify the state of stress and show the result on the element so in problem 9-26 if we solve this this is exactly the same but instead of point a here we will solve it for point b so let's start with the solution so first step is that if we section it at section a a and draw the free body diagram so here at this section we will be having a reaction force which is normal force n and you will be having a shear force v clear and you will be having a moment m so we'll find this v m and n by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force upward is taken as positive so only v which is acting downward is negative and there is no other force so it means that shear force acting will be equal to zero now we'll find this uh, n by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so three is in opposite direction so minus three plus this n which is in positive direction is equal to zero so from here we will have n is equal to three kip now we'll find this moment about section a a so for that i will apply the equation that sum of all moment about section a a must be equal to zero and moment in counter clockwise is taken as positive so here you can see that this is three so till the mid of this section this total distance will be four inch how let me show you this is four inch so this is three and this is the cross section so half of this will be equal to One inch, clear. One inch, and three plus three plus one is equal to four. So I will write it. This distance is four inch. So you can see that this force three into perpendicular distance about section A A is four, and this is producing clockwise. So it will be negative. so i will write it minus 3 multiply by 4 and this external reaction moment which is clockwise a uh, counter clock clockwise counter clockwise this is counter 3 into 4 is producing this is the force and this is the this is counter clockwise so it will be positive so this will be positive and the other one will be negative so kindly correct it in problem 9-26 again you will get the same value moment will be equal to 12 kips into inch now you have this all these things so you can see for normal stress for normal stress which is equal to sigma that is the combination of this normal stress that is acting on this surface and due to this moment and due to this moment it will produce the bending stress so this portion will be upward will be in tensile and downward will be in compression since we are dealing with point b clear so this portion will be in compression it will be taken as negative so i will write it n by a is the normal stress minus m into y divided by i clear now we will find a and i are section properties so we will find first that section properties so cross sectional area of this is 
can be obtained if we take it as a rectangular box which is 1 by 2 inch and then subtract these two portion and this two portion this height is 1.5 because 2 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is 1.5 and this remaining two portion is 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.75 so I will write it 2 multiply by 1 minus 0 0.75 multiply by 1.5 that will give you 0 0.875 square inch and i for this beam is equal to if i take it as a rectangular box and find the moment of inertia about this axis so this will be this will be breadth and this will be height so 1 over 12 b is 1 and h is 2 cube and then minus these two portion these two portion minus these two portion and minus 1 over 12 breadth is 0 0.75 because 2 1 minus 0 0.2 will be 0 0.75 and height is 1.5 cube and when you solve this you will get i will be equal to 0 0.45573 inch power 4 and what about y so y is distance from neutral axis till the point b and that is 1 clear this is 1 inch y is 1 inch we haven't take minus y because we already assume that below is the compression so this is normal stress so normal stress is n is 3 divided by area 0 0.875 minus m is 12 into 1 y is 1 divided by i is 0 0.45573 and when you solve it you will get stress at point b will be equal to minus 22.90 ksi okay so this is the normal stress clear and what about shear stress so we know that sharing stress at point b is equal to v into qb divided by i into t so this is point b clear so about point b there is no area so we know that qb is equal to y dash bar into a so area a is equal to zero because there is no area above a so qb is equal to zero so it means that sharing stress at point b will be equal to zero now if we draw the state of stress element so it will be like this if this is the element clear this is the element so only stress in uh, x direction is compressive stress that is minus sigma b or sigma x is equal to sigma b is equal to minus 22.90 ksi clear so it there is no stress in y direction and there is no shear force so it will be like this so here you can see sigma x is equal to minus 22.90 ksi sigma y is equal to zero and tau of x y is again equal to zero so for principal stresses principal stresses you can calculate these stresses by using mohr circle or using this formula sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus under the root sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y whole square i have solved problem 12.9-26 by using both method here i'm going to solve it by using this formula so put the value sigma x is minus 22.90 plus 0 divided by 2 plus minus under the root minus 22.90 divided by 2 by minus 0 whole square plus 0 square under the root so when you solve this you will get sigma 1 will be equal to minus 22.90 divided by 2 plus 22.902 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 and you will get sigma 2 will be equal to minus 22.90 ksi so these are the principal stresses so if you want to represent on the element state on element so representation will be sigma 1 is 
zero so it will be like this sigma one is equal to zero and your sigma two will be compressive that is minus 22.90 and this will be minus sigma two which is 92 22.90 now we will find the maximum in plane shear stress maximum in plane shear stress which is equal to tau max in plane and that is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y whole square under the root so just put the value minus 22.90 divided by 2 minus 0 whole square plus 0 square under the root so you will get maximum in plane sharing stress comes out to be 11.5 ksi and we will have every shear stress that will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 and that will be minus 22.90 plus 0 divided by 2 is average normal stress so, and that when you calculate it it will be equal to minus uh, minus 11.5 ksi now we are going to find out the orientation of maximum in plane shear so for that we have formula tangent of 2 theta s is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square divided by tau of x y so minus minus 22.590 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square this is not square okay remove this okay divide by tau of x y which is 0 so it means tangent of 2 theta s is equal to infinity so from here t 2 theta s is equal to tangent inverse infinity and we will get theta s will be equal to 2 theta s will be equal to 90 degrees so theta s is equal to 45 degree r minus 45 degree so how you will know that what will be the direction of theta s so put theta s is equal to 45 degree in equation which is transform equation for shear stress is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta plus tau of x y cos of 2 theta so when you put the value of sigma x which is equal to minus 22.90 and 2 theta is 45 dig 2 theta is 90 degrees so you will get it 11.5 ksi which is positive now if you want to represent it on a state of stress element so let this is initial x is s x this was y clear and when you rotate it 45 degree count counterclockwise because theta s is positive 45 degree counterclockwise clear so your new y dash will be like this and if you draw the element like this clear so you are now average shear stress which is sigma average is equal to this value where is 11.5 this all this will be sigma average clear and your tau of x dash y dash will be 11.5 and this will be in y dash positive direction i will choose another color this will be like this this will be tau of x dash y dash or maximum in plane sharing stress this is tau of in plane maximum or tau of x dash y dash and this is the representation of state of stress element and specify the location and that was all about this problem 9-27 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it 
those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video also share my videos with your friends so that they may also learn and help me in growing my channel if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching